Hey guys, what's up? So, having kind of a weird issue with this truck starting. So my batteries are fully charged, and uh, I verified that with my uh, load tester, but uh, I have intermittent weak starting. So I thought I'd check all my grounds, uh, the battery plus grounds, not the, not the grounds of the actual battery plus, the grounds that connect to the actual frame and stuff. Right, well, so I'll to try to show you guys where all the grounds are. Here's one ground trap. This goes to the back of the head and connects to the body right there. And then you have another ground strap. I'll put arrows maybe in the video we can see it. There's a ground strap down in there. You can zoom in on it. And there's actually a split off to the block. So this one negative strap here, this one battery, goes down to the block and then comes back up and hits on the frame right there. So this actually, the areas I'm going to clean, I'm going to take those cables off, clean all the surfaces, and try to get a good contact. And I'm not sure about this side. Can't really see where this one goes. Um, this one goes down somewhere. And what's weird is when I jiggled this cable the other day, the truck seemed to run a lot better. And uh, it started really fast, like I had full power. And like I said, these batteries are about two years old. They're 850, cold cranking amp. And um, they're fully charged. I did a load test on them, so. Um, low internal resistance, fully charged. And like I said, one day, some days it starts perfectly fast, you know, vroom, real fast, goes up, and then sometimes it's, it's super slow, so. All right, so I'm also gonna replace those two braided ground straps, the one on the back of the block. That goes from the body to the block, and then from the, there's another one that goes from the frame to the, from the frame to the uh, body, and I'll show you that. But there's some cheap kind of like braided cables, and they're kind of getting corroded, and, this truck is 13 years old, so um, plus these are much better cables. I can handle more stuff. But like I said, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but um, my alternator voltage it kind of fluctuates in the kind of mid sits around the mid 13s, like 13.4 to 13.7, 13.8, and all my other cars I ever had always were in the low 14s. So I don't know if that's grounding or if that's just the alternator or because this thing is dual battery, it, it draws more power, but it's not fuel injected. Well, it's fuel injected, but it's not your typical, it's direct injected and it's oil fired, so few injectors, but um, power stroke 6 liter, if I didn't mention that already. Put that in the description, I guess. Alright, so let me get going with this. I'm going to take all the cables off, and I'll show you that when I'm, as I go through, I'm going to try to attempt to find all the ground, ground points and clean the contacts off, and then replace the cables I can replace with better cables. Alright, so that's the where it comes in right there. That's where the wire comes in. You can hardly see it. I'm going to have to take off that other thing. That's it's like a, look at it. But uh, this is definitely one truck you don't want to slack off on. You slack off on this truck, it's going to become an expensive nightmare. You know, diesel engines are crazy expensive to fix. Plus, they're a nightmare to get out of the truck. You can't just, like with my Bronco, I can just pull, I can get the engine out of the truck in an hour. So, there we go. That's the ground wire right there. That's the main ground right there to the engine block. So I think the other side just goes to the frame. This one's actually like, like a dual, where it goes to the block, and then there's a the cable splits. I don't know if you can see that right there. But it splits back up and goes into the frame. So I'm going to clean both those. Can okay, you see that looks pretty clean? I don't see any major problems to clean the block up. Alright. Alright, so I can't really get that on video, but I'm going to use my uh, extended uh, die grinder here extended tip with the wire wheel on there and try to get up in there and clean that stuff off. Alright, I just took that top one off. I'm trying to figure out if somebody's cleaned these terminals before. You can see in there it's I don't have the camera in the right spot, but somewhere in there. You can see that right there. I can't tell if it's been cleaned before or not. It still looks pretty shiny. I mean that top one didn't look very bad. What's weird is this left battery, the, the passenger side battery always seems like it I don't know if there's a parasitic draw on this side. I definitely have a parasitic draw somewhere, which I'll figure out, but um, this left side of the battery always seems to get more uh, discharged on the right side, even though they're, in theory, they're connected. So, I don't know. All right, so on the driver's side, main battery comes down that way. I don't wanna take my air box off. I'm gonna use my little crowbar here to pry it up. But that's where you look at it. my flashlight real fast. You can see it. That right there. Let me get that out of the way so you can see it better. And there. 
All right, so I'm gonna get my, uh, it's like a 13 or 15, I can't tell. I'm gonna clean that whole connector off right there and the surface, put it back together. I mean, it could be a bad battery cable too, I don't know for sure, but. All right, so now that I have the main grounds taken care of, I'm gonna start working on some of the auxiliary grounds. So that's an auxiliary ground, yeah, real ground, but this is actually, this is actually some of the sensors. And I was reading somewhere online that the FICM, the fuel injection control module, pulls its ground from one of these straps. There's a strap here and a strap in here. Just gonna make sure that's all clean. And then, like I said, I'm gonna replace those, uh, those uh, wires. I'm gonna replace the wire over here. The one that goes to the back of the engine block, if I can get back there. This long strap with a solid copper wire. Yeah, like I said, I live down here at the beach, and these things kind of turn green. Right, so, so this is the end of the passenger uh, door right here. So I'm going to take this off and replace it with this. Oh, yeah. clean this uh, if I mentioned earlier, like when I said, I mentioned I, I pulled the ground strap and the uh, truck ran better. Well, I've already checked my thick bolts. It's at 48 volts. So I'm already, I already know how these trucks work. <laughs> These are the kind of things I'm going to be cleaning up right here, these extra auxiliary grounds. So clean up all the terminals, brush them off, put them back on. See how these things kind of get corroded? That's definitely not good. So clean all that up. It's another spot down there, so. Can't see, there it is. All right, so I decided to take the battery off on this side, the uh, passenger side. Take a look at that corrosion. So I'm going to spray it down with some of that uh, battery terminal protector right there. First, I'm gonna buff it all off. All right. And I'll show you also, I'm running a direct ground to my alternator. I'll show you that when I'm done. All right, so the main ground straps for the, I mean the body strap for the, for the battery is right here. So I'm gonna clean those off too. And that's, I'm sure there's other ones, you just can't see them, but all right. I'm gonna prevent this thing from corroding again if I can, you know. All around this thing it corrodes. All the uh, sulfuric acid, you know. The vapors. Oh yeah, then I also clean those grounds in there too. All right, all done. So I put this uh, bolt here and I created a new ground strap. I ran a new wire. It goes from here directly to the back of my alternator, so. There's actually a spot in the back of uh, most Ford alternators, the newer ones, 3G, 6G, 5G, whatever. Um, they actually have a spot for a bolt to round it out. So. so if you guys know of any spots I missed, let me know in the comments. I think I found them all. I'm sure there's, I'm sure I missed some here. But uh, yeah, so I went through and I cleaned everything and I tried to cover it with some corrosion preventer, you know? And uh, all right, guys, let me know if this uh, helps you.